Hey guys, this is William with another video for PlayAgricola.com's YouTube channel and twitch.tv slash play underscore Agricola. Playing an EIK WM France Deck Chi 4 5 game with Kulala, Old Couple, and Gen H. Um, looking at this first pile. Oh, Happy New Year, by the way. Uh, looking at this first pile, the pick is Charcoal Burner, and it's not really close. Master Huntsman is pretty great, but uh, not taking it over Charcoal Burner. Uh, there's a couple of cards I wouldn't mind getting back here. Resource Seller, Master Huntsman obviously would be ama amazing, but I doubt it's coming back. Uh, Dung Collector could be an option. There's some good cards here. Uh, ooh, hmm. Uh, resource dealer is kind of interesting because the big thing about resource dealer is you usually want to build a fireplace or some kind of clay improvement early on, which uh, charcoal burner is happy doing. Uh, I could do something like forest farmer. Uh, Eris is fine. Um, businessman, writing maniac. The one thing I don't love about Writing Maniac here is it is a little awkwardly timed. Like Charcoal Burner wants to come before it. <sighs> and I like Writing Maniac better when you can play it as one of your first like your first occupation. But the quality of the occupations look extremely high, so this is probably a good Writing Maniac pick. Okay, um, Stone Sculptor is pretty good, Part-Time Builder is pretty good, I'd be okay with either of those. Two four, if 24601 could come back, that would be sweet. Um, probably Part-Time Builder is the pick here. Yeah, I like Stone Sculptor, but I think Part-Time Builder is probably a bit better. Uh, well, it's not a great beekeeper action. Um, so I could take something like Stone Carver. Would be fine, way of getting food. Uh, Fence Builder is more playable when you don't have to use an action to play it. I think though, I think I like taking Miller here. The reason I like Miller is because it lets me build a baking improvement without using an action, which will trigger my charcoal burner. Uh, yeah, even if it's just like a cooking hearth upgrade, it's almost free. And uh, Master Huntsman came back, which is redonkulous. Not even close. We're definitely taking Master Huntsman. All right, so we have a pretty clear path, I think. Charcoal Burner early. Writing Maniac plays Master Huntsman, then Part-Time Builder, then Miller, then something else. I think so. Yeah. Or, you know, maybe I play Charcoal Burner and Master Huntsman and then build a fireplace myself. Could do that as well. Um, I am pretty surprised that the Well Builder is still out there. It's a good card. Um, Kelp Gatherer would give me some passive vegetable income, which could be good for food. Uh, Hunter, obviously, is a way of getting food myself. Um, businessman, I don't think is too bad here. I think it's businessman or well builder. Although kelp gatherer would be not bad. Uh, oh, this is hard. Like, if I know for sure I can get the well, then well builder is the pick. The problem is the timing for well builder will be kind of difficult. Because well builder is going to want to come out 
early, and I already have Charcoal Burner, Part-Time Builder, Master Huntsman that I'll want to get played early. Now, building the well is great, but I don't know if I have time for Well Builder when I'm wanting to set up for my Writing Maniac. I think we'll take Businessman here. With Charcoal Burner and Master Huntsman, we like buying fireplaces and upgrading them a ton. And uh, Stone Sculptor came back, which is pretty surprising. Um, yeah. Yeah, this is a extremely strong, extremely strong draft. Okay. Uh... What's the pick here? Probably stone cart. Like the stone for my stone sculpt will at the very least be relevant for my stone sculptor. Not a great first pick miner, but it's serviceable. Yeah, uh, could maybe do rooster. Uh, I don't, nah. Ooh, uh, ceramics with businessman is pretty good. The only problem is I'm going to need a ton of clay to make this work. Because building an oven, building fireplace and cooking hearth and oven, that's a lot of work. A lot of work. On the other hand, I could take something like chocolate, could take lamp oil, could take bean field, greenhouse, all of those would be quite good as well. Uh, could take five rings. Yep. Yeah. Just thinking ceramics giving me even more access to stuff for my Master Huntsman would be pretty strong. And Miller does let me build a baking improvement. Oh man. How, okay, I have to think about how this is gonna work. Cause I'd be giving up, if I try to go for ceramics, I'm probably giving up on building a room early. Like it would take me a while to build a room and get enough clay and get enough wood and to do everything. Oh, this is a hard one. Five rings, greenhouse, chocolate, lamp oil, bean field. There's a lot of good stuff here. A lot of good stuff. I would take five rings if I didn't want to do the top line majors so much. Like, I really want the top line majors. I don't care as much about the... Bottom line ones. All right, let's go for it. Let's grab ceramics here. Hopefully nobody else has got a really strong incentive to go for it, an early pottery. Uh, so this pick is almost certainly popcorn. Popcorn is a way of getting grain to feed my oven that I wanna build for ceramics. Seems good. Could maybe do Animal Yard to hold the boar that I get from Master Huntsman, but I think Popcorn is the pick. Uh, this pick... Not really interested in any of these. Uh, Festival Hall, maybe. Festival Hall is a pretty good card. And uh, I can turn stuff... It tur it's another way of getting stone for my stone sculptor. Yeah. I don't love Attic that much. Building material is okay, but it's not great. Uh, this is Flamingo Lake, I think. It's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. I'm gonna need a lot of clay this game. A lot of clay.
Wow. <laughs> I've gotten some really good stuff. Uh, crop rotation field is pretty good, uh, but I'm taking chocolate or lamp oil. Uh, I Both of them give me food. Uh, I, it's unlikely I'm going to be able to hold a second animal early enough to play lamp oil, but chocolate I will be able to play fairly early because I'm definitely wanting to go for first fireplace and or an early oven. So like if I build the first fireplace, like or if I yeah, if I want to build a fireplace and sheep don't come till round four, that's incentive to just go for the oven, for example. Um don't really want any of these. Uh cattle market at least is some food. Badger, I I really don't like badger. So rooster did not come back to me, so let's see if it gets played. It does. So we're starting in third. Jen goes from fourth to second, so she's saying awesome, yep. Yep. So that happens, I'm not worried about it. Also, major minor coming out here is interesting. So probably my first action should be to play charcoal burner. Because it's a chance someone does two clay into fireplace. Jen plays Occupation Resource Seller, so she's hoping two wood comes back. And if two wood doesn't come back, she might have like a miner or something, but let's get this out nice and early. There's Resource Seller, classic card, get an extra thing when you take the thing. And I've got Charcoal Burner, which is an excellent card. Works really well with my Master Huntsman and my Businessman. Should be a strong game. And then Old Couple goes for the two clay. Makes sense with Major Minor coming this early. Jen will take the two wood, triggering her resource seller. So then I have the option to start player. which I don't want to do. So I'll just grab two food daily. You don't know, no, I'm going to grab a grain because I want to build an oven. So that grain I'll have a chance to bake is the plan. So no one took start player, Kulala plowed a field. Old couple should take start player, but has not done so yet. That's fine. There we go. Taking us. Taking SP. And now playing Occupation Bargaining Baker. Uh, so that's not good for me getting the clay oven, because Bargaining Baker really likes building the clay oven. And also they removed two clay from their farm for some reason. Ouch, yeah, you're right. You're right about that, HIKLJ. Ouch, indeed. Uh, yeah, two clay is gone, yeah. Uh, well, two clay is not enough on its own. I need more than two clay. Uh, I could take two reed here. Two reed would be fine. Or I could play an occupation myself. Like, uh, I could occupation something that helps me play part-time builder or whatever. 
Probably just taking the read is fine. There's still a chance I can get the fireplace if old couple goes for something kind of random. There's manual labor here for Kulala. I don't love this card, but people have been playing it more recently. If it gets you like six or seven wood, I think it's probably pretty good. See, old couple passes on the fireplace again. So I'm definitely taking two clay. Yes, Jen just did start player five rings. 100% I'm two clay into building the two clay fireplace. Absolutely. And then hopefully I can play the stone oven, even if I don't get to the clay oven. So I think I benefit a little there. Old couple maybe being a little greedy going for the three wood. Or maybe they don't care about the fireplace that much. Both are possible. There is a animal hunter out there that I have to be aware of, but we're looking good. Because now that sheep grab lets me build, do my raiding maniac uh, quite easily so that I can play, you know, Miller, Master Huntsman, Part-Time Builder, Businessman. Honestly, I want to play all my occupations and I want to play them all pretty early. So this is a good spot to be in. I have a ton of food, access to a ton of food. So if Expensive Ock comes back, that would be pretty good. Nope, Jen's playing Occupation Clay Worker. Oh, fantastic with Resource Seller. Gets uh, the top good off of her resource seller way faster. I could uh, start player chocolate here, but I think just taking three wood is fine. Uh, I imagine old couple is going to trigger my charcoal burner, which will get me to my wood threshold for building a room, which is where I want to be. So that looks fine. Lala start player salary. And has, co or no, d d cocotte salary, okay. So everyone might be going for majors pretty aggressively, which makes my master huntsman and my businessman worse. For sure. So Jen, is Jen going to go for the wood to be able to build a room, go for the first room? Uh, I want to take sheep and play my Raiding Maniac. So probably play my Raiding Maniac with my first move. And okay, so marker, 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 marker. And then first thing that goes out is going to be Master Huntsman, and then Miller, and then Part-Time Builder. Or should I do Part-Time Builder and then Miller? I want Miller out pretty early. I want, it to, I want to be able to use Miller to build the stone oven if I can. That would be ideal. So maybe that order then. Plus part-time builder then I can start holding the animals maybe. Yeah. And then stone sculptor. Uh, second letter, no. Third letter, no. Deck, no. 
Uh, last letter, no. Fifth letter, E, T, E. Oh, too many repeats. All the words are still the same. Hey, Mariska. Like even like Master Miller have the same, whatever, M-A-P-M-I-S. And then businessman, I can just play naturally when uh, there's a good opportunity. Kalala plays resource dealer. All right. Kind of needs a uh, needs read. Because resource dealer won't get them read on their own, but I guess going on day labor, they can convert something into something else. Yeah, lots of lots of very strong occupations. So I'm feeling quite good about my. Uh, Well, I'm feeling quite good about my uh, play here. About taking a uh, writing maniac. It's just going to gain me a ton of actions. Yeah, and Kalala is doing his salary and has clay pit. Ooh, very nice. Must have been first pick clay pit. Why not for food? Uh. Um, I don't know. I guess I just thought six food is better than four food. And with uh, Bargaining Baker out there, old couple likes doing stuff that, like, bothers my sheep grab. Like, old couple likes building the four clay cooking hearth to t steal sheep, for example. And, like, yeah, I don't know. I could always get five food next round, maybe. Yeah, maybe I could have done four food into six, uh, into eight food. Maybe that would have been even better. But six food into five food, it's very similar. Only difference, uh, only one difference. So I'll play Master Huntsman with my Raiding Maniac. Uh, unfortunately, no one has triggered my charcoal burner, which I thought was going to happen. Looks like uh, Kalala will probably build. I put a sheep into my farm. Yeah, so yeah, I had a sheep. Yeah, I think I'm good. Uh... So I could take wood, I could take traveling players, but six clay is really awesome. Six clay is kind of exactly what I want, so. It's uh, another fireplace, it's a cooking hearth, it's the clay oven. There's good stuff here. Good stuff. So I think I might second action businessman so that I can start player and use my clay at some point. Kalala has a good combo. Kakot, clay pit, resource dealer. Yeah. Yep. 
yeah, he does go. He like he certainly he uh, with that setup. He loves going on uh, star player a lot. So axe here for Jen. Uh, I could read stone food to get stone to go towards the stone oven or the clay oven, or I could also occupation businessman. Uh, I kind of feel like taking multiple stone will be better for my game. But am I going to start player next round? I guess I could. I could start player next round, although I don't love it. Reeds don't food, yeah, I think it's fine. Yeah, and Kulala gets like two clay plus whatever clay he wants with the salary. And uh, if he doesn't take other stuff, he also gets uh, extra clay. Start player clay oven does seem good, yeah. But I need to get the stone first, which I haven't. So actually, I like. I think I like businessman here helping me play lots of uh, miners. So or let, letting me play majors faster. So let's see if uh Yeah, it were a gen is gen caught that as well. Oh, and someone had Eris. Old couple had Eris. That's right. I kind of forgot about that card. There's family growth. So Kalala gets to grow. So then old couple should start player. So if old couple's going to start player, then I could clay oven. Also, playing part-time builder is really dangerous if I don't build a room here. Because if I play part-time builder round seven, uh, these guys, old couple won't doesn't like uh, going on build room with Eris, and Kulala might not build another room. I think he probably will, but might not. Wouldn't have wouldn't be an, any under under any pressure to do so. So maybe I should try to build a room this round. Although Jen might build rooms here. I could choose not to play part-time builder. That is an option. Jen start player house goat. Interesting. Well, I will take uh, four wood. And Kulala can't stable block. I do want to play my part time builder. I could stable block, and that would be super annoying. But then I oh no, then I can't play part time builder anyways. All right, well we'll take four wood here. See what happens. So Kalala grows. Old couple. We'll see what old couple does. Yeah, I might have to not play part time builder. We'll see. See what else happens. Kalala has greenhouse. Yeah, good card. Good card. There are lots of good cards in this draft. And with draft nine, you don't have to take the worst two cards in the pack, so you get really good stuff. So general double build here. Yeah, so if I play part-time builder, I can no longer build a room until somebody else does, which is a problem.
But I could potentially do what Jen did here and start player into f build a room if old couple does not take wood here. And there is a chance that old couple does not take wood. Uh, I'm going to build the uh, clay oven here. No, 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 I'm not going to build the clay oven. I'm going to set up for my start player action next round by playing occupation businessman. And part-time builder would go back into my hand, but uh, which is kind of sad, but I think it's okay. Yeah, so old couple needs to take wood here. If they don't take wood, then I can uh, start player into grow into build room just like Jen just did. Kalala plays major cooking hearth. Gives him access to taking six sheep, six food from sheep next round. Triggers my charcoal burner. Kalala would like also like to block me. Why would Kalala like to block me? He just grew. Uh, no Ock. Ock goes unplayed. Jen plays Slaughterhouse. Whoa. This is a very early Slaughterhouse. All right, well, I have Businessman in hand. Let's force Old Couple to uh, block me if he wants to. So play a Miner first. And the Miner I will play is... Uh, stone Cart? And then the major I will play is Clay Oven. I will bake my grain. I will also get two food from eating a boar from Master Huntsman. And I get a wood and a food. So yeah, old couple has to uh, stable block. That's fine. I wanted to do that anyways. And now I can ceramics pottery on start player next round. Start player seems fun this game, yeah. Uh, if I take three stone, I'm pretty much guaranteed to get the stone oven and the pottery, aren't I? Or I could take wood, and wood is great. Wood is a good thing to have, lots of. Uh, I think I like the stone. And I could also build the well. Like, I could ceramics and well, for example, if I think pottery is safe. Yeah. Feed four. Three stone looks great. So I think I'll do the same thing again. It sucks. It sucks for my opponents to do that, but I think I do the same thing again. Old couple needs to first action. Family growth. So Kalala could get, end up with a six wood action here. Ooh, double the amount of clay, really good. 
Will Jen block me? Uh, it's possible she does. Yep. Yeah, Jen could block me. There's also going to be six wood available. I have. Oh, excellent. Okay, no six wood. Good, good, good. Well, this is really annoying, but uh, yeah, I'm going to force Jen to block me too. Because the thing is, if I don't start player here, then Jen could just grow. So, or then uh, Jen can start player. So I think I'm fine with doing this. It's really annoying for my opponents, but uh, I think this is fine. So I'm going to go ahead and play ceramics, get two food. And then I can play Pottery, or I can play Major Well. Uh, I think I play the Pottery, and then Miller can play Stone Oven or Clay Oven next round. I do like, I would like to build the Well, but there's, I don't really want to lose the Pottery here. I think it's worth just playing the Pottery. So, uh... I get two food from getting a boar. FF from boar and ceramics. Yeah, so Jen might Jen might block me. And if she does, then maybe I get four wood back or six clay back. And I think I'm still in a fine spot. Yeah, so Miller can play Stone Oven or it can play Cooking Hearth Upgrade. I'm happy with either of those. Old Couple plays Bookshelf. Ruska says I would be careful. I am feeding Kulala a lot. If she blocks me here and I build next round, what? Then I grow in round 10. Kalala can't jump me if I build next round. He would have to have a way of building a room without using an action. And Jen's going for the well, so it's fine. It's all good. It all ended up beautifully. There's a room. Uh, I could still play part-time builder. So I won't build any stables. I don't know why old couple is not building more stuff to trigger his bargaining baker. I'm kind of confused about that. Is he going to reno? He should reno cooking hearth here. Unless he wants six wood or six clay. Or three wood or six clay. Does it really need wood, it doesn't seem like. Fireplace, beautiful. Plus wood food. Did I take wood food on... Uh, the cooking hearth build? I think I did, yes. Yeah, and I announced it. Good. Uh, so on family growth, I think I probably play chocolate. I think that looks fine. There you go, you got it, Minin. Minin. So next round, maybe I play for Family Growth into Occupation Part-Time Builder. Because uh, I think Jen probably wants to build another room with Axe in hand. And I think Kulala is definitely going to build again. And uh, Kulala is not pressured to grow early. And in fact, Kulala could start player into Build Room, which would come after I Family Growth into Part-Time Builder. So that would be pretty nice. 
And uh, Kalala obviously sitting on day labor, so I'm getting at least two free stables out of it. So we'll go ahead and play Miller here, and we will play Major Stone Oven. Get a wood and a food, and FF Boar. So now I'll play chocolate for another free uh, three food. I used Miller to play the stone oven. There's my chocolate. It's uh, for food if you have a major improvement that you can only use for ox. And then here's Miller. Also good to note that once uh, popcorn's in play, I can turn reed into grain at any time if someone takes one the one grain space. And uh, yeah, I don't see any actions that I really want. Uh, eight clay would be pretty good. I could take eight clay. But uh, actually, maybe I should just take eight clay. I don't know. Jen, if Jen doesn't take the eight clay, the thing is, Jen and Kulala both going to build a room. So I feel like I could delay my part-time builder and still be okay. I have a lot of majors. <laughs> this is kind of ridiculous. Yeah, taking the eight clay would let me eat for my pottery here. It would also let me think about Reno and building a clay, another clay room. Jen's doing start player building material, I assume. So yeah, there is eight clay available. Now, the other thing is, other players don't really need clay. Kulala needs no more clay. Um, old couple needs no more clay, as far as I can tell. Jen is the only person who needs clay, and she gets clay from Clay Worker. So, yeah. So I could take eight clay here, or I can take uh, occupation, part time builder. And you know what? We're just gonna take the clay, sure. Building majors like we have a reeve in our back pocket. <laughs> uh, so, clay and three food. Yeah, certainly we've helped Kulala a lot by doing this. And Kulala was already in a good spot getting the first room uh, first room round five, first family growth round six. So certainly Kulala is in a strong position as well. Um, and is setting up to build for the fourth time. Yeah, they don't have the stone sculptor coming out for free in the future though. And uh, the cookie hearth is good. Certainly his feeding is going to be good. Jen plays major joinery. <laughs> so it is round nine and all major improvements save the expensive cooking hearth are gone. What a game. I would be happy upgrading to that cooking hearth as well. Because then it's an extra trigger for my charcoal burner. Because if someone else builds it, charcoal charcoal burner triggers once more. But if I bu upgrade to it, then the cheap well is also available. And then I could either rebuild it or someone else could build it. Both of those would be good. Park Cemetery here. It's probably Reno. Yeah, Reno Park Cemetery for Kulala.
Food is so good now, we can just go for high impact actions. I, I agree, General Crix. I absolutely agree. Our feeding is really good. So what do we want? We want reed. We want stone. We want wood. We want plows. That's what we want. Reed, stone, wood, and plows. Jed's going to build another room, right? Even if she doesn't, uh, I'm okay not building another room. Because I'm okay putting my reed towards green rather than building another room. So... <sighs> Looks like old couple missed out on their heiress build here, which is unfortunate. Could have done Reedstone food, couldn't they have? Sanswell and I should chat together on Discord. Yeah, I haven't, I uh, don't think I've chatted with Sanswell yet on Discord. I haven't, honestly, I set it up, but I haven't really actually done much on Discord myself. Um... Four wood looks good here. Kalala used it for dealer by accident. Kalala does. Start player crop rotation field. Sure. Judd's going to build another room, right? I feel like the part-time builder, whether I get it from the room or not, is a, does matter. I think it makes a difference in how good the card is. Let's go for it. Latest part-time builder ever. Then my last action could be three wood or it could be reno cooking hearth upgrade. Or it could be taking vegetable. Any of those I'd be happy with. And Kulala immediately gives me my stable, which I'm happy about. Yeah, so now... If I, so long as I get an, uh, one, only one more stable in round 11, then I can have a breeding pair of boar. So yeah, major minor uh, getting an extra boar is pretty appealing here. Yeah, you know what? I haven't uh, actually watched uh, since we'll st stream in a while. I should, uh, should do that. Free stable. And then... To the board. Plus what F plus O. Here's my part-time builder very briefly. Basically, I put a stable on a bunch of spaces. I can't use those spaces until somebody else does, and then I get the stables. Uh, and Kulala's given me all my stables, like, pretty quickly. <laughs> so I'm feeling pretty justified for having done that. Now, Occupation Stone Sculptor for my seventh. Seventh and final occupation. Yeah. No one can family growth, that's right.
Reread, maybe. Plow plus a stone. Uh, yeah, all, both of those seem excellent. Old couple says, I don't agree. We don't want Kalala, like, it, it slows the game so much. We don't want Kalala taking one minute every move to check, okay, is there an obvious move I'm missing? Okay, is there an obvious move I'm missing? Like, I think it's kind of bad sportsmanship. But whatever. Whatever. So wood is pretty bad here. So yeah, plow taking a stone looks good. I could also start player, uh, but I think the plow first is better and then my second action can be start player. Uh, start player popcorn and building material or start player popcorn and fireplace. Yeah, and the thing is, we knew, looking at old couples' history, they've played 26 games and won more than 50% of them, which, like, just doesn't happen on this site. Nobody on this site is that good. Um, oh, I need to take read before I play popcorn, don't I? Hardcore gunner in a random four. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I agree, General Cricks. Yeah, the thing is... It's fine. It's legal. Okay. It's not. It's not unfair, but it creates an unfun environment. I think. Like I said, I don't want Kulala every time he's about to take a move thinking, you know, gotta check. Am I missing something? You know, like that's just not fun, and it leads to slow games. Wow, I got all four of my stables within like a round. Not bad. Not bad. But the thing is, so we knew before the game that uh, her, um, Old Couple was not a... Um, yeah, nice part-time, no kidding. We knew that he was not a new player. He's only played 26 games, but they've played... Um, like, uh, they've won, like, more than 50% of their fours. Which, like, yeah, no, does not happen for a new player on the site in their first 26 games. It just doesn't. Uh, it doesn't matter how good you are in your local game group. Um, but, uh, so I said, like, hey, what's your main account? Because that's clearly an alt. And they said, oh, it's a secret between me and Wallfly. I was like, okay. It's not Wallfly. But it's, uh, someone. All right. Uh, so old couple played Dunk Collector. So that's obvious, obviously why they needed those two bore. And then beekeeper for old couple. Now I will start player, play popcorn. And play the two clay fireplace. And then getting a wood and a food and a boar. So now I need to eat a stone for a point. I will eat a clay because I have no further use for clay except for Festival Hall and Flamingo Lake. Eat a clay for two food. And that's it, feed six. And read.
All right, let's see what we get here. Uh, I'm happy with family growth or plow sow, honestly. Both are good. And it's family growth. Nice. So uh, two cattle probably gets taken. And there's a chance plow comes back. If plow doesn't come back, then I get wood back. And uh, it's like two cattle, start player, plow, three wood. I like all of those actions. So I'm happy with any of them. Like start player building material in Flamingo Lake would be good. Building material, get a wood, Flamingo Lake, get a point from a clay. But yeah, look, like it was not even before the fourth harvest, all, all 10 majors were gone. Part of that is the power of the cards. We're playing with extremely powerful cards. Like Resource Dealer gives a ton of stuff. You know, Bargaining Baker makes stuff cheaper. Parvenu gave a ton of clay. Old couple star player Beanfield. So yeah, I get three wood or plow. Let's see what Jen does. Takes the wood. So we get plow. Flame lighted. Not trying to flame. Just saying, you know... We disagree. That's what we're saying. Kalala got a bunch of stone back. Don't like the, I really don't like that Kalala doesn't just put stuff onto his farm. Like, it's very annoying. Where did all that stone go, Kalala? And, like, you should send your farm when you update it. Also, this has been like the best slaughterhouse ever. Can we can we note that? Jen played slaughterhouse and it gave immediate food when she played it in round seven. How good is that? And in fact, it gave two food. This has been a great slaughterhouse. Great slaughterhouse. My master huntsman has fed it a ton. Kalala's fed it a ton, taking random animal grabs. Really fantastic Master Huntsman. Okay, so both the crops are gone. So I can't take crops, which I would have liked to have done. Uh, I could reno. But I kind of want to hold off on my reno to hopefully get fencing. Although I want to fence before the next harvest. If I don't fence before the next harvest, I think I'm in a pretty rough spot. Uh, could take a pair of sheep here. Yeah, I'm going to have a hard time filling my farm, but uh, should be okay. So Kulala took 24601, great card. Also great for his point ceiling here. Going to have a very strong game. But I have had a strong game as well, so I'm going to have like a maxed pottery pretty easily. Uh, I took four food because I ate two boar, right? Oh, I should take two more because I have a cooking hearth now. I was thinking like I still had the fi only a fireplace only. Explain that plow placement. Uh, well, so there's a chance that I do fence 15 and I do it. This is a pasture and then this. these are two small pastures. So then I could plow two more at the top here. I think there's like pretty much zero chance. There's like pretty much zero chance between plowing. Uh, like that, I, sorry, that I build another room. So if I'm not going to build another room, then I'm leaving myself open to cover those two spaces and then fence down at the bottom here. Like this is a one pasture, this is one pasture, and then these six spaces are a big pasture. 
Uh, Maruska, figure out what's the difference between subscribed well and points unlocked well. What is the difference? Please enlighten me. Uh, I could take four wood or I could start player. I think I kind of like start player here. Uh, it gets me Plowso in the last round, which should be worth a good amount of points. So we'll play building material for a wood and we will play uh, Flamingo Lake for a point, I think. Yeah. I cannot use points well in different channel. Ooh, interesting. Uh, not cattle market. Uh, I guess I could cattle market instead of Flamingo Lake. The problem is, I think what I want to do, HIKLJ, is I want to ideally fence and then breed my sheep, and then I can use the bred sheep for cattle market. Because if I do cattle market here, then my sheep will never breed. Not that I need the food, I guess, but I don't know. There's also a chance I get two cattle next round after fencing, so that's also what I'm thinking about. I could fence 11 here. I should think about that. Uh, I have three more actions this round. There are two three wood actions. Taking wood before fencing would be nice. Um, is someone else streaming Ruska? Did he just try to use the well in a different channel? That's kind of funny if that's the case. Uh, I think I take three wood here. Now I imagine Kulala is going to fence. But if Kalala doesn't fence and Jen doesn't fence, then I'll fence 14. And then if Plow could come back, that would be great. If Plow doesn't come back, I'll take a vegetable. Well, there are even other channels. <laughs> no, no, I refuse to believe that. Uh, oh, I need to reno. There are four players that want to reno here. So I should reno. Jen wants to reno. She needs to pick up stone. And the fencing did go to Kalala. But that's fine because... Uh, I guess I could reno fence next round. No, I'll, I'll reno here. Reno improvement, play, cattle market, I guess. I know, I know you, Mariska. You just spend all your time watching me. And that's a good thing. <laughs> so Jen took the stone. So there's going to be lots of pressure on the reno space, so let's add to it by renovating ourselves. Since I can't breed sheep this round anyways. This also means that I can't stone sculpt this round, but I think that's all right. I can stone sculpt in the last round. Uh, so hopefully my last action is vegetable. I would like to last action vegetable here. I cannot spend all my time. <laughs> Jen can lock me out of fence. Uh, she can. Yeah, that's true. That is true. Huh. Well, if I do anything, uh, if I first action fence, then should be Kulala Reno, Old Couple Reno, and then Jen maybe Plowso's. But Jen might like two cattle better than Plowso, for example. Like Plowso might not be that good for her, so there's a chance Plowso comes back. So we'll grab a vegetable here either way. But yeah, you're right. I probably have to first action. Uh, first action. Um, 
do that, eh? So let's feed eight. And a clay. Yeah, Festival Hall is not getting played anyways. And uh, the clay is only worth a point if someone takes 10 clay for no reason. There we go. All right. I think everything's good here. Oh, I need to breed my boar. So I pick up a stone for my stone sculptor. And first action, I'm going to fence 14. Fence 14. So boar can go up there, sheep can go there. Yeah, so there's a chance Paso comes back. Now, if somebody has a way of getting on Reno, like if someone took like Old Profit or something, then I don't, there's no chance I get Plow back. But you know what? Even if I don't get Plow So back, I could get two cattle back. I'd be pretty happy with that. That would be a two point action. And uh, I still have the option to sow for two points. So I have a couple two point actions. Also, family growth is a three point action. Taking sheep is a two. Taking sheep is a one point action. I'll definitely take clay. So taking clay is three points, and then I have a bunch of two point actions. Two cattle plow sow is more than two points. Plowing is two points. Sowing is two points. I have a lot of points available to me here. Let's see what Jen does. What a jerk move. Why is that? It's like a good old fashioned stomp. Um, I don't know. Kalala's got a pretty strong farm. And Jen. Oh, and now they're arguing. Nice. So I get my plow so action. Beautiful. As uh, Mr. Leahy would say, a shit leopard can't change its spots, Randy. <laughs> For anyone who likes trailer park boys, that's my message to you today. It's a Canadian Canadian classic. So plow is two points and then clay or uh what else? My two point moves are running out actually. Plowso got took a lot of them. So I said, oh man, you better like be nice or else nobody's going to play with you because you're clearly an alt account and the reason that usually people make alt accounts is because nobody will play with them. <laughs> Phantom, EIK classic. Ooh, I wonder if anyone's going to join that. Two point plow. And then last move is a three point clay action. Maybe I shouldn't be saying anything because there's a chance that he's going to retaliate by taking my clay. It is a positive EV for everyone against me. It might not be positive EV against the winner if the winner is not me. Well, it's definitely not. But 
Yeah, this is a good game. Very strong. I mean, look at my occupations. I got like six occu or wow, five occupations I would consider taking for with my first pick. Stone sculptor, part-time builder, master huntsman, writing maniac, charcoal burner. Obviously charcoal burner is amazing. But I have like five cards I would first pick here. And then businessman Miller are uh, pretty good support cards. Feed eight. So in terms of bonus points, I have Flamingo Lake. Stone to another point. Brigitte Boar for no points. So I have whatever I score plus three. So it should be pretty good. Miller's pictures, Thomas Miller. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I like that too. So 51 for me. Good game. There were no global bonuses, right? Yeah, uh, rooster. I guess old couple gets the rooster bonus. Pretty good. Yeah, so no negatives. And a very strong uh, improvement score. Clay oven, five point pottery, stone oven. Old couple ends at 33. So yeah, this was a stomp. I thought Kulala would have more points than 43, but uh, I guess not. 33, 36. Good game. I wonder if I benefited a little sitting after Jen, if Jen. <laughs> yeah, um, I wonder how many more points Koala does if they don't have first action family growth there. <laughs> yeah, uh, General Crix, that's fu uh, I, I agree. <laughs> appropriate, appropriate face there. Yeah, to be honest, if I get cards this powerful, it's going to be really hard to beat me. Like, I like all of my almost... I think I like all my occupations over Kakot and Manual Labor. Convict maybe is better than like Muller Businessman most of the time, but yeah. And then my miners are all really good too. Like they all contributed to the game very meaningfully. Like Stone Cart was good, Ceramics was good, Chocolate was three food. Like even though I didn't really need the food at that point in the game, I might have needed it earlier. Yeah, popcorn, Flamingo Lake, yeah. Pretty good. Massive part-time builder, four stables for free. I got it all within a round. Yeah. This is a good one. Oh, Jen built a bunch more rooms. I missed that. Totally. Yeah. Well, that's going to be all for me. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you guys have enjoyed this little video. Um, I will stream tomorrow. Tomorrow. Yeah, I'll stream tomorrow. I don't uh, have too much going on tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. Um, thanks for watching and chatting, guys. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, give me a follow on Twitch. And then you... Like Maruska, General Crix, Mine and Poppin, and HIKLJ could chat and say, What are you doing? and ask me questions and stuff. And it makes it more fun for me. Uh, also, 
if you are an Amazon Prime account holder, you can subscribe to me with your Twitch Prime. So uh, you basically get a free, if you have an Amazon Prime account, you get one free subscription per month to anyone on Twitch. And that's called Twitch Prime, and you should give it to me. And uh, I promise that if I get a payout from this channel, well, when I get a payout from this channel, I'm going to put it back into the community, try to use it for some good content. Uh, yeah. And then otherwise, um, if you do all the thing that makes me feel good, like subscribe, all the stuff that Nathan likes to do, what does he say? You'll comment like, and well, he's, that's what all the YouTubers say, so uh yeah anyways this is a fun one uh i will see you guys next time bye